uh, for this chapter, uh, and essentially transition metal compounds is the chapter, we're going to explain the chemistry of transition metals. So that's going to include color. A lot of transition metals have interesting colors. Why do they have those interesting colors? What are they? The structure, we're going to look at the bonding, at things called ligands, uh, at uh, oxidation of transition metals, and things, something called coordination of transition metals. To go over all this stuff, I need to give you a bunch of definitions uh, so that we can get started. So we're going to do a little overview of uh, some terms, overviews, well, no, just one overview. And uh, let me give you a bunch of terms here. So first, what's a coordination compound? Coordination compound. Uh, what happens? Transition metals form what we call coordination compounds. Coordination compounds usually have color. They are usually paramagnetic. What's paramagnetic? You have an electron that is paired or unpaired? Unpaired. Does it respond to a magnetic field if it's paramagnetic? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So it's magnetic in a sense. It has magnetism, usually. Uh, and they're formed, coordination compounds are formed from simpler compounds. Let me give you an example. Uh, when you have cobalt, chloride or cobalt-3 chloride um, with five ammonias, you form a co coordination compound that looks like this. Cobalt, NH3, 5, Cl, bracketed with two chlorines. And we're in fact going to learn how to name these things. But this is a coordination compound. It's basically a compound that has a transition metal. That's a coordination compound. Okay, next, complex ion. What's a complex ion? This is a transition metal ion. So a transition metal that's an ion that has ligands. I haven't taught you what ligands are, but <laughs> those are essentially the things that are on the transition metal. I'll tell you more about them later. This is a subset of coordination compound. So coordination compound is the bigger definition. This is a subset of it. Let me give you an example. If I take that same compound there, rewrite it. But I remove this Cl2 here and actually just write the ion. So write it as a charged species. This is a complex ion. It's basically a transition metal entity that is charged. Transition metal entity that is charged. Okay, next, counter ion. Next, counter ion. What's counter ion? These are cations or anions that are needed to produce a coordination compound that has no charge. So whenever you have a cation or an anion that you need to make, to get rid of the charge on the complex ion. Let me give you an example by rewriting something I just wrote. CO, I'm going to write the top one. NH3, 5, Cl, Cl2. This thing right here is a counter ion. So in this case, chlorine is the counter ion. It gets rid of this 2 plus charge. By analogy, think of Mg2 plus. If I want to get rid of the 2 plus charge on magnesium, I'll write MgCl2. If I want to get rid of the 2 plus charge on this complex ion right here, I'll put a Cl2 at the end. So that is called a counter ion. It's not directly bonded to the transition metal per se, 
but it's a, a caged around the transition metal to get rid of the charge. So it basically bounces the charge. In 2A, we might have called it a spectator ion. Okay, next. The next one we're going to do is called a coordination number. You actually learned this uh, in Chem 2B. Coordination number. This can vary. It's a number, a counting number, that varies from 2 to 12. Uh, the most common is 6, but 2 and 4 are also common. There's a lot of common, I mean, 2 and 4, you could also say 12 is somewhat common. What it is technically, now I'll tell you the definition, it's the number of nearest neighbors to the transition metal. The number of nearest neighbors to the transition metal. So, for example, let's say I have TM, my transition metal, right here. That's an atom. And let's say I have atom Z here, and here, and here, and here. And let's say I have atom X here, and X here. The coordination number for this transition metal is one, two, three, four. It's the number of neighbors that are nearest to the transition metal. So in this case, there's four nearest neighbors. The X is a neighbor, but it's not that near. Uh, it's as if in Davis, your nearest neighbors, if you live in the dorms, are other people that live in the dorms. I'm kind of your neighbor, but I live off campus, so I'm not that close to the dorms. So I'm not a nearest neighbor. There's a lot of other definitions of coordination number, but this is a simple one we're going to use. OK, next, ligands. I've used this uh, word already. Let me tell you what it means now. This is the groups that surround the transition metal. So any groups that surround the transition metal is called a ligand. Let me give you the same example from before. OK. Quick quiz, what's this Cl2 called? Counter ion. The ligands, I will underline in black, NH3. There are five NH3 ligands. And there is one Cl ligand. This CL is different than these two CLs here. These two CLs are counter ions, but this CL is a ligand, and you have five other ligands that are NH3. Usually it's whatever is in the brackets that's not a metal. That's the ligand. Whatever is in the brackets. Okay. Uh, and I'll say more about ligands later. Okay, next, a complex. It's a complex. Uh, essentially, this is uh, another way to say a complex ion. So it's a transition metal surrounded by uh, ligands. So as I drew before, sometimes we just call it a complex. Uh, it's a complex ion, essentially. Okay, next from uh, your previous class, oxidation state. Let's try this metal right up here that I just wrote. What is the oxidation state of cobalt? You got it, plus three. And you're wondering, how is that guy in the front row so genius? Let, let's take a look. What is the, and I'll get a different color out for this, what's the charge on ammonia? Zero. NH4 is plus 1, but NH3 is neutral. Uh, what's the charge on chlorine? Minus 1. Minus 1. Set up a little equation. Cobalt plus 5 zeros for the ammonia plus 1 chlorine at minus 1 equals overall charge of uh, plus 2. Well, cobalt equals plus 2 plus 1 or plus 3. Be able to find the oxidation state 
in any coordination compound or complex ion.